As Christians, we are called to engage in spiritual warfare against the enemies of God. The Bible tells us that our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. To fight this battle, we need tools that are not of this world. One of the most powerful tools we have is worship. Worship is not just singing songs or attending church services. It is a lifestyle of giving honor, praise, and glory to God. When we worship, we are acknowledging God's sovereignty over our lives and inviting His presence into our midst. The importance of worship in spiritual warfare cannot be overstated. When we worship, we are declaring our allegiance to God and affirming His power and authority in our lives. This act of surrender and submission is a direct challenge to the enemy, who seeks to steal, kill, and destroy. The devil hates worship because it reminds him of his defeat at the cross. When we lift up the name of Jesus in worship, we are proclaiming that he is Lord over all and that his victory is our victory. Worship is not only a defensive weapon in spiritual warfare, but it is also an offensive weapon. When we worship, we are releasing the power of God into the atmosphere. The Bible tells us that God inhabits the praises of His people. When we worship, we are inviting the presence of God to come and dwell among us. This presence is a tangible force that can break chains, heal wounds, and set captives free. Worship is not just a religious ritual or a form of entertainment. It is a supernatural weapon that can change the course of history and transform nations. Go deeper.